He's swinging his arms around, taking swigs of his water, and walking side to side. Those are all actions that a jogger would be doing, which makes his words all the more believable. But the officer isn't fully sold yet, so he keeps asking Richard questions. But like the master manipulator he is, he's able to fake a backstory on the spot. Where are you staying at? That uh, Titusville or Titus Inn? Titus Inn? A little old. A little old. Where's that at? I don't even know the address. We just got into town about a week ago, and he dropped me off to jog. I always jog about 12 miles a day. Where'd he drop you off at? Up there on that road by, uh, there's some construction going on up there, an house. Uh -huh. And he dropped me off, and uh, he'll be back to the hotel in about probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Who do y'all work for? It's his, it's his, uh... I know, what's the name Brooklyn of the company? company? Phil's Brooklyn. Okay. Where are you from? Huh? We're originally Dallas, Texas. I mean, that's where y'all yeah, stay where at, out, of. out of Dallas, Texas. And he's so good at lying that even when he slipped up and told the officer a different name, the cops still didn't notice. So what's your name again? Jimmy Jones. Throughout this conversation, Richard is building his trust with the officer by laughing at his jokes, making relevant commentary, and most importantly, not showing a single ounce of fear. This confidence is what makes the officer doubt himself over and over again and keeps Richard off the hook for the small mistakes he makes in his lies. Put yourself in my position. Well, yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> I know, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you throwing you against them. Hey, you wouldn't believe what them guys do. Okay. I mean, they got years and years to think about how they're going to do it. Now, I could, uh, when I crossed the tracks down there, I saw you running. I said, well, how lucky can I be? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not no prison escapee. Richard knows exactly how much detail to give in his story. He's descriptive enough so that it sounds real, but not too detailed to avoid suspicion. Where's y'all's motel at? 